Right, so hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is BCD and as you can tell by the title, we are going to be talking about something a little bit different compared to uh, normal gaming, if you want to call it that. So as you guys may know, it is November the 9th or the 8th, I think it's the 9th, isn't it? That Logan Paul will be fighting KSI in their boxing match. The rematch from the last fight, which I believe was last year or... Yeah, it must have been last year when it happened. And yeah, here it goes again. We're here for the rematch. This time, it's going to be even better than the last. As you guys may know in the last fight, that they did it with head guards as well as lower ounce gloves. Whereas this time, we're having no head guards and heavier gloves. Which, if you don't understand the whole rule things of boxing, is that if you don't have a head guard, there's more chance you're going to get knocked out. And if you have heavier gloves, there's even a bigger chance you get knocked out, seeing as that force coming through that glove has the chance of knocking you out. I don't know how many times I can say the word knockout. And yeah, I just wanted to give my thoughts on the whole of the fight, what it means, what's going to happen, and what's going to happen after the fight. So let's going to start off with what it means, this fight. Now, as you guys know, KSI and Logan Paul are both big YouTubers. They are also have big egos now if you're a logan paul fan or you're a ksi fan you both have to agree that they both have these really really big egos which they're trying to sort of smooth with the fact that they could win this fight and i wanted to talk about what it means to them what it should mean and everything like that now as you guys know if you've seen keeping an eye on things you'll know that Logan Paul is looking very, very buff is the right word, if you want to say that. He's looking very good at the moment. And some people might say that KSI doesn't look as good at the moment. Now, this isn't the whole bells and whistles about boxing. If you have a physique which looks good, it might not perform as well, you know. As well as if you look a bit tired, a bit heavy, you might not, you know, move as fast as you would if you were a little more uh, skinnier, a lot more lean in that aspect. Now, I'm looking forward to the weigh-in to see what these fighters look like. Because as you know, at the weigh-in, they weigh them in. That's going to be at their peak uh, performance to be able to weigh in for this fight. And so some, I've seen a lot of comments of people saying, oh, Logan Paul looks better. He's going to win this. It's not all about how you look. You never know. JJ might naturally just look a bit more bulky, but he might be able to use that bulk to his advantage in throwing his punches and maybe even knocking Logan Paul out. But then you might see the fact that Logan Paul looks good because he feels good and he's ready for this fight. So it's very much 50-50 in that aspect. Now I wanted to move on to the main point I have to make about this video and being what it means to each of them if they win and what happens if they lose. So with them losing, what if Logan Paul loses, which is a bit, it's a possibility, both 50-50, like I said before, they can lose this fight, and yeah, what happens if Logan Paul loses? Now, this is a bit of a sticky situation for him, seeing as he does come from the fact of the whole Suicide Swap Forest thing, this boxing thing was the one thing that was keeping him going, and sort of moved uh, social media away from the fact that he was that man, that uh, the whole Suicide Forest, and... Obviously, I'm not going to go into all of that, but that still is going to linger if this man loses. If you think about it, he's, no matter what he's going to go into, whether he has his podcast, which he does, and things like that, there's always going to be comments and always people saying, well, you're the person that lost to KSI. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be always, this, this whole thing about him losing would be hovered over him for the rest of his life. And especially, I think, personally, it would bring back the fact that he was the one to do the suicide. I think that would pull it back as long as as well as him losing, which obviously I don't want to have that on anybody, but in some sort of ways, it may serve him right. Now, moving on to KSI. Now, with him, you might think, oh yeah, he's being a bit one-sided and a bit biased, but I don't actually think so. I'm just seeing this as a way of how things may look. Now, with JJ, it's a lot more different. As you guys know, he is one seventh of the side men. They are a YouTube group online who make uh, fun entertainment videos and I sort of feel if he lost this fight, he would be able to move back into that sort of element where he was the last couple of days and be able to use that as like a, a substitute for this. I don't think he would have that much lingering over him as much as Logan Paul would, seeing as KSI would be able to go back, he makes his sideman videos, 
he gets back into that whole thing of being entertaining. That's what JJ was originally. He was an entertainer and he wants to go into doing his boxing. That's absolutely fine. But he also has his music and he's doing things like that as well. So I sort of feel he's able to build himself back up again. Whereas Logan Paul doesn't really have much else to go from. And I feel that's going to be a big issue for him. Seeing as if he doesn't have that one thing to focus on, what's he going to move on from? Whereas JJ has all these possibilities, all these lingering things around him where he can go back into them and make himself a success again. And it doesn't all come down to boxing for him. So I think that's the, the only issue that Logan Paul has. Will he be able to come back from a loss or will he crash and burn? like some people think he will now if he wins then that's going to be bragging rights all of his way he'll be making video upon video upon video about this maybe even challenging somebody else to a rematch as well as jake paul will be gloating about it and things like that but jj has always said he wants jake paul next so i think if it's a win or lose type situation he would want to fight him next but as we all know as well as the true joy podcast the where when i filmed this last night the Eddie Hearn podcast went out and he said that the Jake Paul versus Anderson Gibb won't be on the KSI versus Logan Paul undercard, but it will possibly be on another undercard, which would be actually quite fascinating to see. But whether there'll be a uh, you know a main event is something to be seen. Uh, I possibly don't think that they're at the level of being a main event like KSI and Logan are, but that's that's for another video because I want to focus this around KSI and Logan Paul. But yeah, Logan, the pools will be able to, you know, use that momentum of him winning against the side men and things like that. Maybe boost their views, boost the YouTube scene for them and sort of bring themselves back in. Because Logan Paul was probably one of the biggest YouTubers on YouTube before this whole suicide thing was. I, I must admit, I used to watch his vlogs back in the day. But after that, he, he got all that hate, people unsubscribing, the vlogs stopped. Now, I think that could have been the main issue that he had where his YouTube career sort of taken a dip, seeing as that was the reason he stopped. Now, whether that will then boost his um, himself to you know go back into YouTube and things like that, we'll, we'll soon see. But KSI, I think that would be more of a, this is more of a stepping stone for him. Like if he wins this, he will then move on to bigger and better things. Now, obviously he, he will make jokes. We all know who JJ is about Logan saying what he did to him and things like that. But yeah, I think, this is just something that will help KSI boost himself into the big, big world of boxing worldwide. Going up against Anthony Joshua, maybe, if he can reach that sort of weight class. Who knows? But, yeah, I think that's going to be something to really look out for. But I don't think KSI has as much to lose as Logan Paul does. Now, if you guys... Have your own opinions like i always say i'm always open to other people's opinions and if you want to make some of them then make sure to leave your comments down in the comment section or who you think is going to win who you think is going to lose uh how you think it's going to um end whether it be a knockout whether it would be a decision or whether it will be a tko and yeah let me know down in the yeah, this is who i think is going to win oh you know what? i got back my boy ksi i'm going to back him ksi for the win and I'm going to say round four, knockout, round four, KSI to win. But I'm just, I'm like 53% on KSI, you know what I'm saying? Logan Paul, he looks ready for this, but it's just whether his lack of experience compared to KSI will help him or lack him. We know that KSI has been fighting with the Mayweathers. Uh, if you don't know who they are, Floyd Mayweather, 51-0, and 0, I think he is now, since he fought, fought Conor McGregor. And yeah, those the, the Mayweathers are probably one of the most experienced teams in the world of boxing. And he's got himself in there with Vidal, Vidal Riley, his head coach, and things like that. And they have been working well. If you've been watching all the stories and all the videos that have been posted online of him, you'll know that those guys are, you know, they're good to go. But the Logan, you don't really see as much, or maybe I just haven't been seeing it myself, but you just don't see as much content of them working out as much as you do with the ksi camp so i gotta go my boy you might say i'm a bit biased but that's my way of looking at things if you guys have enjoyed today's video like i said before before i start ranting again uh make sure to hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you're looking forward towards the ksi versus logan pool fight and yeah i hope to see you guys around next time but until then i'll see you guys then peace